Hello guys and welcome back to Reverse X. This is gonna be a crazy video. Just because I'm so scared of ghosts and I'm gonna react to them. It's gonna be a good video too. So just to uh, put you in a more good mood, we'll just turn off the lights. You can still see me a bit, but yeah, it's gonna be crazy. There can be a ghost behind me. That's what I'm scared about. Let's see what we have. Thing in the road. The Chapali Toll Road in West Java, Indonesia is known for two things. Frequent traffic accidents and reports of strange supernatural sightings along the roadway. Okay, this bizarre sad. dash cam footage almost captures both. The video, which was recorded just after midnight, is bizarre enough even at normal speed. But slowed down, it becomes downright terror in the middle. The Silmar Ghost. Parent Anna Diano was attending a high school football game at Silmar High School in Los Angeles, California. What could go wrong at the football match? Like, yeah, all the lights. Yeah. She was recording her daughter Mariella doing a cheerleading routine when she caught this strange footage. Students at the school have started to refer to the footage as the Silmar Ghost. What do you think? It don't look photoshopped, it looks real as real can be. CBS 2 News in Los Angeles asked Anna's daughter if the cell footage had been edited. So she, she doesn't even know how to work her phone, so no. So is this a bizarre phone glitch or a ghost caught on camera? It must be You decide. I'm not scared of that, yeah. The Ghost of Carmel, Maine. Hello and welcome to Ghost of Carmel, Maine. In a previous video about ghosts and shadow people, I've talked about Kent Burris and his channel, The Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Ghosts of Carmel. A man named Kent says that he began to experience strange occurrences after moving into his house in Carmel, Maine. He found that his house had once been owned by an undertaker and that the residence served as a funeral home from the years 1906 to 1919. Kent claims that his house is very supernaturally active and is haunted by multiple ghosts and strange beings. Well. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, there he is in the window again. Oh my God. Just to pause, I'm just gonna check if I'm safe in my house because I don't think, I, like, I'm really scared seeing these videos and we're only like four minutes in and I have goops, goosebumps all over me. This is scary, man. Let's go, but this time with the lights off on, let's go off. But I'm, I'm really scared. Yeah. Let's see. was messing with his sheets and that he sometimes got the eerie impression that someone was sitting on his bed. My he set God, up a camera to record overnight and this is what he caught. No, you didn't got anything. What the hell, dude? Creeping me 
out. It actually looks like someone sits up in the bed and then just kind of sinks down into the sheets. But is it just the bed covers moving in a bizarre way or something paranormal? And why does this look like a head that just seems to disappear? I'm Harry Potter. Exploring the Asylum. On the Urban Exploration Channel, Exploring with Mikhail, they explore the old abandoned South Carolina mental asylum. Built in 1820, this building was one of the first mental hospitals in the U.S. It goes without saying that the old asylum has a long, dark history. Mikhail and her friends are walking along. So yeah, I just paused the video. I have good hopes because it's morning time. You know how it feels when it's morning time. But I'm still freaked out, like literally. Lights off. Along the third floor of the creepy hospital when she hears an odd noise coming from one of the old patient restrooms. I thought for this gas line. <laughs> this is the main floor. Oh, look at that. You are obviously perfect. <sighs> oh, oh my god, I didn't see that. See the window covers. Oh my god, this is right. Now, you might wonder why the video abruptly cuts out right after the strange incident with the blinds. And so did I. So I asked Mikhail if there was more footage, and she explained that bizarrely, the camera on her phone just froze right after the incident. Now, at first. I'm really scared. I'm really scared. I got goosebumps all over my hand. So we are just gonna play. Uh, you, I actually, you guys uh, get entertained by the real ghost camera stuff. I'll just disappear my camera. You get more scared, I guess. And wait, I'll just explain. You can wait. Yeah. So I'll just set up anything or something you you guys can see it right Shrivy co you can still hear me yeah you got that positive right don't feel first that might seem a bit suspicious but Mikhail was nice enough to even send me a screen cap of the raw video from her phone to prove the strange lockup oh look at that <laughs> Wait, am I gonna get copyright for this? So is this a ghost caught on camera? Or is it just the wind doing some very bizarre things with the blinds? And a glitchy phone. The Sad Observer. This next clip was a private video uploaded to YouTube six years ago. A man named Oscar and his family were out having a fun day at a nearby creek. When they checked their footage back, it turned out they were not alone. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's someone on oh my god. The pale image of a little girl in white can be seen sadly watching them from the creek's edge. That's it for now. I can handle it more. Thank you for watching. This is really a short video, but I have to end it because I'm getting a, I'm getting too many goosebumps and I can't handle it. It's you, I'm still seeing that shit. No, I can't. Yeah, I just removed that screen. Now this feels good, right? Huh. Please subscribe, like, and share for more reaction videos. Bye.